cheese! Dead. This is what life's about. Thank you. Corn queso, because it's so damn good. Fire roasted corn, jalapeno, lime, cilantro, manchego. It's like a lotes and queso had a baby. Cheese dip, great for a social distancing party. Set up stations. 10 bowls of queso every six feet. Corn, queso. Oh. Let's make some cheese! I'm gonna start off by roasting the corn and the jalapeno. I have a wire rack set above my gas range. Roasting the corn and its husk will protect the corn kernels inside as well as impart a partial smoky flavor. Next, we're gonna roast our jalapenos, same way. And this is the amount of char you will want on your corn and jalapeno. Don't worry if it looks burnt, this is what you want. We're going to remove the char from both the jalapeno and the corn. Next, we're going to shuck our roasted corn. I'm going to first take off the husk. Next we're going to peel our peppers. Just take a paper towel and the char will peel right off. Next, we're going to shuck the corn. We will need two bowls, one smaller. Take your larger bowl, and then your smaller bowl will go upside down inside. Cover that with a clean kitchen towel. You will just take your corn and run your knife down the kernels. Just go ahead and set aside your corn kernels for later. Next, we are going to infuse the corn cobs into our milk that is going to be used to make our cheese sauce. So we're just going to break these up. And then go ahead and add two cups of milk. We're going to heat this up over medium heat. And once it comes to a simmer, we're going to drop it down below. We're going to let these corn cobs steep for about an hour in the milk. While we're waiting on that, we're going to cut up our tortillas and fry our chips. You can either buy store-bought tortilla chips or you can fry your own. These are just corn tortillas. We're going to cut into fours and fry them until they're crispy. All right, now we're going to fry up our tortilla chips. Go ahead and fill up your pot about halfway with the high smoke point oil, canola or vegetable or peanut. You just want to heat this to about 350 degrees. I like doing it over medium heat. Probably take about five or 10 minutes to heat up. Once your oil is heated to 350 degrees, go ahead and start frying your tortilla chips. Also have a sheet tray with paper towels ready. Next, 
we're just going to dice this onion up. Just going to cut the top off, cut it down the middle through the root. Remove the outer layer of onion. This is how I dice an onion. PSA, mince your own garlic. I'm gonna mince about four cloves of garlic. Go ahead and smash your garlic down with your knife. Once those are smashed, go ahead and keep peeling your garlic. Next, we're just gonna mince our garlic. Next, we're going to mince our jalapeno. I'm gonna keep the seeds in. You can take them out if you're a wimp. Totally up to you. Next, we're gonna cut about a half bunch of cilantro. Once your cilantro is chopped, go ahead and set it aside. Next, we're going to toast some cumin seed, and then we're going to grind it up. It's going for about a teaspoon here. I'm just gonna toast this over high heat. It'll go pretty quick. You just want to toast it until it is fragrant. Keep swirling the pan so it doesn't get toasted just on one side. Go ahead and add it to your mortar and pestle. Next step in the process is to make the cheese sauce. First, we need to strain off our steeped corn milk. Discard the corn cobs because all we're after is the milk. Now we're going to start making our cheese sauce. Over medium high heat, go ahead and add your butter. Once your butter is melted, go ahead and add your diced onion. Season with salt. We're going to cook this down for a few minutes just until soft and translucent. Now that your onions are soft and translucent, go ahead and add in our roasted jalapeno, as well as our minced garlic. Season that with salt as well. We're gonna cook this for about 30 seconds, just to get the raw taste out of the garlic. We're going to also add in our toasted cumin, one tablespoon of flour. We're gonna make a roux. And now we're gonna start by adding our corn milk. And once we are out of corn milk, we will move on to adding regular milk. Adding a little bit of milk at a time to ensure that it does not clump up. You're aiming for a little bit thinner consistency than the final product because the cheese is also going to help thicken up the queso. Add a little bit more milk, about about a cup at this point. Go ahead and season this with a little bit of salt. Next, we're going to start adding in our queso fresca. Turn this down to a more medium heat. I'm gonna switch to a whisk at this point to smooth out the sauce. Next, we are going to add our freshly grated manchego cheese. Since we haven't added any black pepper yet, we're going to do that now. I'm going to add a little bit of my Lacto Serrano hot sauce. Now we're going to add in our roasted corn. Just 
sauce is just about done. I turned off the heat and I'm gonna add my cilantro. And since this will thicken up just a bit by just sitting on the stove, I'm gonna add just one last splash of milk. PSA, don't set your house on fire when roasting corn or jalapenos or anything else. Bad <laughs>